YouTube, what's going on? Andrew Darling here. Hey guys, um, I've been talking a lot about the OnePlus One lately. I wanted to uh, kind of get back to something. My Surface Pro 3 video, my initial thoughts and cool trick uh, video, has been my most viewed video over the last couple months, month and a half I think it's been up. And I wanted to go back to the Surface Pro 3, touch on that for a little bit, because I know there's a lot of people out there with questions that just haven't been getting answered. And look, that's okay. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is uh, do a quick how I've been using it, um, more as a laptop replacement than as a tablet, especially since my main computer crashed um, a little over a week and a half ago. So we'll go ahead and get into that real quick. Let me know in the comments below what other questions you have about the Surface Pro 3 as far as app support or anything to that um, effect. Um, I'm gonna cover that a little bit, um, kinda in, a, in its own video. So let me know what you think. Um, comments and likes below if you have the opportunity. And uh, here we go. So this is how I have my Surface Pro 3 set up. It's very similar to my initial thoughts and cool trick video. Um, I did go and pick up a small uh, Logitech uh, mouse. And as you can tell there in the USB port, that's where it's plugged in. You can use the mouse to scroll here and it'll scroll you across the screen. Um, or you can use it um, as you would on a on a device that does not have a touch screen with Windows 8.1 um, and come here and you have all your apps. So the last week or so, week and a half, I've had this device and it's been my only device. My Alienware computer crapped out on me. Um, that's a whole nother complaint video. But uh, And what I've been doing uh, is using this as my only computer. I've been using it for homework. I've been using it for writing papers. I've been using it for everything from my, my college classes. So where do I spend most of my time? Generally, I spend my time um, in desktop mode, um, and I am actually uh, at Strayer um, University, which is my employer, and I am not clocked in yet, lucky for me. But uh, this is how I have my desktop set up. Um, now, I have <laughs> Blackboard Instant Messaging, which is, is, is terrible. Don't ever use that. It's a school function. Um, Skype, of course, Pinnacle Studios, Chrome, Google Docs, Sheets, Slides, iTunes, uh, Firefox, Google Drive. I have the Chrome app launcher, so this is going to allow you to run Chrome apps here um, on your desktop environment. Um, pretty cool, kind of useful. Um, you can play Angry Birds, but they also have Angry Birds in the Windows Store. So I use it with the uh, with the um, keyboard attached 95% of the time. When I initially got the device, I was using it more as a tablet where I would take the keyboard off and turn it to uh, portrait mode. But I've really gotten away from that, and, and that's a shame. And I can tell you the single reason I've gotten away from that. The reason I've gotten away from that is because of the lack of Google Apps. I've mentioned this before. For me, I am very, very much entrenched in Google's ecosystem. I am. That's just the, w the way it is. Um, so, of course, we have Google Chrome, and there's the Google Search app. There's an, a third-party uh, Google Maps app, which is, we'll call it sufficient. Um, it's not Google Maps, but it's close. But as you can tell in here, there's just nothing, and that's obviously a Google and Microsoft relationship issue. And that's fine. That's okay. But the problem is users suffer. I would love to have a native Gmail app similar to that in Android, similar to that in iOS, something that I have full Gmail functionality because here's the Google search app and you can go in here and I hardly ever use this, but you can go in here to where it says applications, you can click on it or touch it, whatever, and you have Google apps. Okay, the only issue with this is it's just the web browser within the app. So I can go here to Google Plus and obviously the Note 4 stuff has probably started now but just looking, I mean, you can go into Calendar, you can go into Gmail, you can go into all of that different stuff, Translate, Blogger, Doodles, YouTube, very, very important. Um, but as of right now, um, that's all they are is the website. They're not an actual dedicated app, and that's kind of disheartening. So a couple of cool things that I saw, and I'll put the link to another video that has all the um, cool tips and tricks on it, but if you hold down... Uh, I believe it's uh, function and delete. You'll turn your brightness up. Function and backspace will turn your brightness down. Um, so just a couple quick shortcuts. You can hit, uh, I believe it, there's a shift and a, or a function, K 
caps lock and that'll change your um, short keys up here from the brightness settings, volume, play, pause to the actual function keys, which I don't use very often, so that's not a huge concern to me. But this is generally how I'm using my, my Surface Pro as I'm using it more as a laptop or a desktop replacement than I am as a tablet. And for me, that has its positives and negatives. Um, I still play Asphalt 8 just because uh, it's awesome. But uh, the I use uh, Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive, and Box, and then of course your Microsoft Suite there. OneNote is awesome, but I haven't used the pen in literally a month. I just I haven't used it. I have it with me. It's in my car, but I just haven't used it. So the lack of Google Apps is is painful, um, but it's you know that going into it so you can use it as a desktop um, I've also like I said I use it to sync with uh, with OneDrive specifically and apparently I have 106 gigs free of my 256 well 232 that's available but uh, and I have you know pictures music videos whatnot but overall I mean I still really like the device I don't have an issue with it I did get the uh, the mini display port to HDMI, um, as you guys can tell here on the side, it's the uh, mini display port to HDMI. I got the cord for that, so I've been using um, one of my monitors from my main desktop that, like I said, crapped out on me, and I've been able to uh, use it as a dual monitor setup, and I've also used it as just mirroring the other monitor because obviously you have the keyboard here. So there's lots of different things you can do with the device. The only thing it's missing that, that I can see is not just apps but Google apps and obviously like I said that's a mutual decision between Google and Microsoft to not always play nice and, and that's fine that's okay whatever their business model is but what I want to do real quick is I just want to show you guys the difference here in what you'd expect on say a regular tablet and say the Surface Pro 3 so I have my and I will play here with the Tesla why not Tesla's doing well so We'll play here in French Guyana. So we'll just play with a red Tesla. So I have mine set up to tap either side of the uh, screen. I'm gonna try and keep the light out of it. Okay, so I have mine set up to tap either side of the screen to turn instead of um, everything. So this is what I'm gonna do because you guys have been so awesome. I know this is such a tease. I'm gonna go ahead and pause it and we're gonna go here and I'll do a separate video for the running one time through the French Guyana. So YouTube, I appreciate it. I don't want these videos to be too long. This is my Surface Pro 3. It's how I use it. I use it much more as a laptop than as a tablet. Let me know what you think in the comments below and let me know what questions you have. I really wanna focus on this um, and kinda of get your guys' opinion and let me know what you guys are thinking. So again, this is Andrew Darling. YouTube, like and subscribe. I appreciate it. Y'all have a great day.